this is almost it. We have one more act. We got to make sure that fill up this room full of love for her. Are you ready? Her name is Laura. Laura, please come to the stage. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my name is Laura. I'm a unicorn enthusiast, a designer, and I'm from Colombia. <laughs> where we proudly produce that product that gives you hardworking people energy. I'm talking about coffee, of course. <laughs> I've been living in Germany for the past two years, and let me tell you something. I'm way too small for this country. <laughs> The other day, my husband Daniel and I were looking for an apartment and we found this really nice place. High ceilings, beautiful floors, nice kitchen. And then I went into the bathroom and I couldn't see my face in the mirrors above the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it's like brushing your teeth while staring at the wall? It is so obvious that Munich is not made for people of my height. When my mother-in-law came to visit us from Colombia, she went into the kitchen, took a look at how high the cupboards were, <laughs> ran out of the apartment, and came back with a ladder. <laughs> and bless her for that, because Daniel was hiding the chocolates up there. <laughs> and that's not fair. I like chocolates, and he's only 10 centimeters below the average here. He towers over me. There is a good side to being this short. If no one else is as small as you, then no, then no one buys clothes in your size. Guess who always finds their size in sets? Me. <laughs> like these pretty shoes, or the jacket that I wore here tonight, or my amazing unicorn plush toy that I fell in love with because it was at my eyesight level, which... <laughs> which turns out to be German kid I say level two. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it could be overwhelming being a Colombian short woman in a country made for you, giants. <laughs> At least I can always visit home when I'm one full centimeter above the national average. <laughs> Tallest woman in my family. Power from, th power from tallness that I feel at home with my family is what you must feel all the time when I'm around. <laughs> and it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Imagine a place with only and only short people. Small doors, low benches, and ponies. No horses allowed. <laughs> That's why I think we all need a healthy mix of everything. This is my designer self coming out. Think in a world that takes care of everyone. Full-length mirrors, cupboards with built-in ladders, and giant glasses for beer, for, for beer, because that last one shouldn't change even if you're short. <laughs> yeah. Applauses. <laughs> I whine and cry and joke about Germany with its giant population and unreachable mirrors, but that, that's the reason why I'm here. Exposing ourselves to different situations and experiences allows, uh, enriches us and helps us grow, not in, silly, not in, uh, not in physical height, sadly. Now I have the fortune to work in an office with diverse nationalities, languages, and cultures. And it is amazing. Our office dog, Bobbit, knows tricks in English, Spanish, and Slovak. <laughs> in a place with diversity, I feel that it doesn't matter your, where are you from, what your gender or your background is, we all have something to contribute. Like when I taught my Slovenian colleague to flirt in Spanish. Repeat after me. Hola, guapo. That means, hi, handsome. And you can also say, bonbon. <laughs> that one means, uh, small, sweet treat. How cute, right? And you can also say, tremendo potro. <laughs> that one means, your testicles are huge. 
<laughs> I know, I know, we will need a whole evening to talk about my culture. <laughs> and sharing conversations with many different people allows me, uh, makes me able to feel empathy for a wider range of, range of persons. And I love it. Like when I held a conversation in German saying, Ach so, ja genau, und alles klar, over and over again, while my colleague was talking about her life. I think she was talking about her life. I have no idea what she was saying, but we felt really connected. <laughs> I believe diversity is key to making everything better because homogeneity is boring. Pandas are great, but white pandas are only endangered polar bears. <laughs> and unicorns without rainbow colors are horses with a single freakish body modification. <laughs> and cats, well, cats are always amazing, even in one color, but hey, every rule has its exception. I invite you to embrace our differences and the diversity around us. The world will be a better place for it. Travel to distant places, eat weird food, and always, always keep a ladder at home so I can come and need the secret chocolate stash that you keep hidden in the cupboards. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura!